Hello, Taurus viewers. So last reading we did, I got that there was somebody who saw you as his or her safe space. Um, I got a lot of energy about them being like stressed and overwhelmed and maybe stuff with work and finances, like either not working enough or working too much. Um, let's see. What else did I get? Mostly just got them like needing an escape from life and kind of just wanting to run away with you. And it's like they wanted to text you or call you, but there's always people around them, like karmic relationship or like always at work or just always busy doing something. Like there's always something going on with them lately. So let's see what the cards have to say about it. Okay, so it's from our Taurus viewers. What is your person thinking and feeling right now regarding this connection? could be an ex, it could be a current partner, it could be something new coming in. We'll just see how the cards play out and how the story unfolds. So what is your person thinking and feeling regarding this connection? So for Taurus viewers, what is your person thinking and feeling regarding this connection? Let's see. Three of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Well, I guess I should take that reversed, actually, because that's how it came out. And I already put them up right, so that one actually was reversed. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. Well, this is pretty good energy, it looks like. Ten of Pentacles, and Judgment, and the Knight of Cups. So with these two cards, yeah, it looks like someone's making a judgment call and trying to figure out, um, you know, look at this, like, look at her, look how there's this frog here. It's like, it could be the, the frog prince, but she's looking away and she's just kind of staying in her power and, and he's looking at her and he's wanting her attention, but she's, she's like, do I want to kiss this frog and hope he turns into a prince or do I want to move on and see what else is out there? So she's making that judgment call. She's kind of looking, she's kind of being introspective too. She's she's looking back at the past and trying to figure out if it's all still worth it to her and if she wants to keep waiting it out for this person. So this reading to me is kind of all about like sweat and hard work and and just pleading for what you want, which is what you've done. You've done a you've done a lot of work for this. Um you know, with that Three of Pentacles, this is like your creativity and you're working on something right now. I kind of feel like this, the masculine might be helping you and supporting you with it to a degree, but I feel like this is mostly your energy. This is mostly about you. This is something that you're concentrating on and you're trying to build in your life. This could be a career or like hobbies or could be psychic work for some of you. Um, there's just some type of energy. It's like you're, you're, I just sense this like a very like creativity keeps coming out. There's something about your creativity, like you're you have this the the pink moon. I think brought in this new fresh creative energy for you, and you're manifesting that and that and you're using that to your best ability. And you're just that creative energy is just flowing for you right now. I feel, or it's going to start in the near future. I feel like you're getting into that into your creativity, and because of it. Um, you know, because you're being more independent and you're you're coming up with these beautiful, brilliant ideas and you're you're manifesting them and you're you're going with them, you're going with the flow, and you're in this creative energy, you're gonna get to the six of wands, which is public recognition, um, support, success, you know, genuine self confidence, being the person you wanna be, um just just being yourself and um being able to really be proud of yourself and are proud of your accomplishments and whatever you're doing, it's like the public recognizes you and supports you and your efforts and people are noticing you more. Um, I almost, I almost feel like this person is kind of blocking you from your path to some degree. So I'm looking at it. It's like the Seven of Pentacles. It's like hard work and patience and seeing things in the long term. This is somebody, look at her, like she's fought hard um, for everything that she has and she's trying to focus on the Six of Wands energy on, you know, just doing her and just ma making her life what she wants it to be. But with the Three of Wands reversed, 
it's almost like you have these new opportunities and like these like this new potential coming in but it's like reverse so it's almost like you start getting there and you start focusing on your path and working hard for your path and then this like loving kind of energy comes in and almost like distracts you from your path because then you end up in this queen of cups energy which in this particular reading i almost feel like <sighs> I don't know like you want to be this in this energy more i think you know what i mean it's almost like you start getting on your path and then this person kind of distracts you from your past and you get in this queen of cups energy we are kind of focused on waiting for them or playing hard to get or what should i do what should i say what should i not do um you know what happens next kind of energy and it's like it's like a distraction where you're starting to focus on your path and then you get back into this this energy and you're going forward with the Knight of Cups. You're opening your heart up and you're going after what you want. Now, whether that's love or um, material abundance and success or fame or recognition, um, power, whatever it is that you want, you're following it with all your heart right now. And I think you're following a few different things. You're following your creative path, but you're also following love. Um, and you have a ton of pentacles coming in. So you're going to be successful. You're going to be abundant. Um, if you focus on that spiritual path or for some of you, it could be like college or it could be career or something like that too. Um, but whatever like path that you're wanting to focus on, it's like saying, you know, there, there is reward at the end. Like there is money to be made from this at the end for you, but it's, it's kind of a process and you do want to focus on it. And if someone's like not being emotionally available with you, you don't want to let them keep distracting you from who you are and the path that you're on. So towards the end of the month, I see you making this judgment call that we talked about where you're like looking back at the past and you're like, okay, do I want that or do I want the future? Do I want something more? Do I want to keep kissing this frog or do I want to look and see what else is out there? So that was mostly about you, but let's see what other energy I can get from this reading for you guys. So tell me, let's see, <laughs> let's see here. Tell me about this frog prince. Is <laughs> If my, my Taurus viewers kiss this frog, is he going to turn into a prince? Or is he just going to keep being a frog and keeping my Taurus viewers going around in circles? <laughs> Let's see. So tell me about this um, connection. Tell me, so for the Taurus viewers. <sighs> hmm. Because that those cards, the cards just kind of like I'll ask a certain question, but a lot of times, like sometimes with these readings lately, the energy you're in is weird, you guys. Because like a lot of usually when I ask a question, it's pretty straightforward, but like lately, the the cards will just kind of say what they want to say and tell you what they want about your love life. So I might start wording my questions differently actually, and just letting them say what they want to say, and then after that, I'll focus on specific questions. Um, if these two want to come out. But, okay, so for my Taurus viewers, all right, can we get some clarification on who this frog is, what he's about, what he wants, what's going on with this frog? <laughs> Sorry for calling your mask on a frog. <laughs> hope, okay. He's got hope, and he's trying to, he's either starting to understand you more, or he's, like, trying to understand you more. He's trying to understand this connection more, I think. Um, and he does have hope for this connection and he's being reminded about you. There might be like messages through songs and synchronicity that are reminding him of you and it's making him want to reach out to you and send you a message. Um, and that message is connected to the hope card, but oh, what is the invisible card trying to tell me? Oh, I feel like that's a karmic. Because I, I always read the cards differently based on the reading, you know what I mean? Because the energy is always different. Like, I channel the cards. I don't just go off the basic definition of what they mean. You know what I mean? Sometimes I do, but but usually when I'm channeling, it's like I, I focus on that. And it's almost like... It's like he wants to send you a message, but then there's, like, this energy that's in the way. And this, this could just be a job or work or some third-party distraction. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person, but I think for a lot of you, it might be another person. Um, that's kind of dark. Look at her. She's not the greatest. And 
it's almost like you feel invisible. Like you feel like you're not being heard. You know what I mean? It's like he wants to send a message, but then he's, he doesn't because he's in this other energy too. Um, and he's trying to figure out where he belongs. He's trying to figure out where his home is. Sorry, I put a, I put a candle on that a long time ago. And it never, never, Mark never came off. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's trying to figure out where his home is with the belonging card. And, you know, he's trying to go towards his high priestess of spirit. You know, this is like intuitive divine feminine. So it's kind of confusing energy. It's like the desire is there. The connection is there. But there's also so much distraction. And he's allowing that distraction. It's something that he's not cutting out of his life that he probably should be cutting out of his life. You know what I mean? Like he's allowing it, whether it's a karmic or it's something that's just distracting him from you. He, he is allowing that energy. So he's got to take responsibility for that. You know what I mean? Like he's just as guilty as the other person or that other energy is, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, he's allowing that he's allowing something to keep him from you. Um, okay. Let's see. I want to ask here. All right. Um, tell me more about this connection. What is, so for the Taurus viewers, what is your masculine or feminine? Um, what do they want to say about the connection, about how they feel about you? Ooh, did I want to take all those? Okay, I guess I did. Um, about how they feel about you, what they want with this connection. Like, what do they want to tell you? What do they want to tell you? What do they want to tell you about their feelings towards you? Towards viewers. Okay. I want to be better for you. I want to be good enough for you. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know why these cards don't show up on the camera. I am trying to reach you, but there's obstacles in my path. But I kind of feel like this masculine makes too many excuses. He he does too much bullshit, and he makes too many excuses for it. You know what I mean? Like, he'll be busy. It's like the kind of masculine that will be busy and leave you on read for three days straight and then message you out of nowhere and act like everything's fine. Or the kind of masculine that will, you know, just, just that kind of energy where it's like he'll be... MIA and then he'll be like, oh, sorry, I was doing this or I was doing that or he's always got some stupid excuse. Um, you know what I mean? It's, and it's like there's no excuse, you know? It's kind of like he's just putting you on hold. He knows he's got you on hold. Um, I trust you. I feel like I've known you my entire life. So he does trust you if you guys are questioning that. Are you dating somebody else or just trying to make me jealous? I notice and it hurts. So if you're playing hard to get with him recently, he is taking account of it. He might be looking on your social media. Um, true love, you know, that that's a soulmate connection, most likely. Um, open your heart to all the love and abundance the universe has to offer. So whether it's this person or somebody new, the universe is just asking you to open your heart. And if this person is being too stagnant and they keep doing the same shit over and over again, time and time again, it's time to let that frog go. And find a prince who's already a prince. <laughs> you know? Like, you don't have to kiss any more frogs. Find a prince that's already in his power. Already a prince or a king, better yet. Um, you know what I mean? Because I, I just... The energy I get from this masculine is like, yes, he does have feelings for you. And they are pretty strong feelings. But I get this energy of excuses where he's always doing some shit. He's always out late. Or he's always, you know, texting you days later. Or calling you or texting when it suits him only. Or um, just, I don't know. I just get like a wish-washy energy from him. I don't like it. It's like, a, it's like, oh, everyone else is, everyone's blocking me. It's not my fault. It's like, no, if you're with a karmic, you're choosing to be with a karmic. So it is your fault. You make that decision to be with a karmic and not be with, you know, your person. Like, you make that decision. Um... And I do want to remind you guys that, like, you do have multiple soulmates out there. So, again, don't be scared to let this person go if it's time to let them go. Um, because there are plenty of other people who I feel are noticing you right now. And plenty of people who would gladly take their spot and 
you know, not be hot and cold and wish-washy. Um, you know, so just keep that in mind. You have multiple soulmates. It's not just one person out there that you can be happy with. There's there's multiple people that you could have that strong, deep soul level connection with. Because, um, yeah, I just, I keep hearing excuses, excuses, excuses. Like, I keep getting that energy where they're like, they've always got, it's, al it's always somebody else's fault. It's always the karmic that blocked them. Or it's, I was working late or I was working all this week or... I've been doing this or that. There's always some excuse with them and that energy gets old and you don't want to stay on the merry-go-round anymore if this person isn't willing to get off it, you know? Again, the feelings are there. They're strong, but you got to make that call if you want to keep doing this. Um, would you still love me if you knew of my dark past? Do my scars bother you? So this person is kind of feeling some insecurity about themselves as well, wondering if they're good enough for you. I listen to the opinions of others, and I'm not sure of who to trust now. So this could be friends, family. It could be the karmic herself lying about you. Um, something. Something's, like, not... Like, they do trust you. I think they they found a way to trust you again if they stopped trusting you for a while. But it's like there was that energy there that... there. Yeah, it was just that, that kind of energy. Um... So really, I think there's not much to um, say about that particular person because you kind of, wow, my ear just started ringing loud in my left ear. So maybe some of you guys are clear audience and you're developing your clear audience right now. That was intense. I was like, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> it's like, I'm not okay with that. I'm trying to do my reading. I don't need this loud shit in my ear right now. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. But um, God, where was I? That really distracted me. I'm sorry. Uh <laughs> I mean, I think what the cards are just kind of saying, you know, what, what we got with that judgment card and then we got the Nine of Cups, um, you know, that visual there, I think, is the emphasis of this reading where it's like, you've got to make a judgment call. Do you want to stay in this energy and keep kissing that frog and hoping he turns into a prince? Or do you want to just move on to somebody who's already in that energy, who doesn't need all that hard work? Um I almost feel like now that I'm thinking about it, because for the most part, I think that the reading, the first reading I did with the, um, with this deck right here was for, was about you, about you focusing on yourself and focusing on like, like a spiritual path and, and, um, spiritual upbringing I hear for some reason. But, um, but yeah, that energy was mostly focused on you, but I do also kind of think that maybe some of that energy was also saying like you worked hard and bled for him for this relationship, like, it's like a very familiar energy to you. And so there's this, there's this comfort, there's this familiarity with him or her. Um, because it's like, you bled for that. You cried for that. You were heartbroken over that. You fought for that again and again and again. And you're like scared kind of of like, well, what if I leave them? What am I going to have? I'm going to be alone. Am I going to meet the right person? Like I put so much into that. I put so much energy into this person. I don't want to just throw all that away, but I think that you really need to do some soul searching right now and you need to figure out like do you really like is this your true love or is this familiar and comfortable like can this honestly if you take the past the present the future all of it into account balancing spirituality and emotion and logic too, you know have that logic in there as well you know is this person really ever going to change is that energy ever really going to um to move forward and because I'm not going to lie, that energy I get is very, very wish-washy. It's very, um, it's just very flaky. It's very unstable. It's very like almost like a bipolar kind of energy where it's just like they're, they're all over the place. They really are all over the place. Um, and again, they keep a big, a big reason why, because I think it's going to be different for all of you. I wish I could just be like, oh yeah, let him go or like, you know, keep him or whatever. Like, I wish I could just, I, I think it's different for all of you though. Otherwise the cards probably would have said, you know, straight up like, oh, let this go. But I think that your guides want you to make that decision and be in your power for yourself and not just, um, you know, like not like hear a psychic reading and be like, oh, okay, I'm going to let them go now. Or like hear the psychic reading and then like be like, oh, okay, well, like, I'm going to fight for this more. You know what I mean? Like they want you to do some soul searching. They want you to meditate 
They want you to go inward and find the answers and really get, get deep with yourself, really like develop this deep connection with yourself. I feel like you're, 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 you're giving so much love to people around you and not giving, I hate saying like, I hate preaching self love because I get so tired of hearing about it. Like I get, I get sick of hearing that. Cause I'm like, you know what? Self love is wonderful and we need that, but it does not compensate for different types of love. Like you, like loneliness is a real issue. It really is. And I think that there, you know, there's too much emphasis on self love sometimes. And there needs to be more emphasis on just vulnerability and human connection. Like we're all human. We need those connections, but, um, we need that closeness. You know what I mean? It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to need that closeness and to need love. All of us do, you know, it's normal. Um, but for this group, yes, there, there is as much as I hate saying it, there is an emphasis on self love. Cause it's almost like, I just see you like pouring your heart out to these other people. And it's like, you have nothing left for yourself. Like you're out of balance. You know what I mean? It's like, you're giving so much to like this person or to like multiple people and you're doing so much for everybody around you, but it's like, you're like depleted and it's like, your body is like begging to be loved like your soul your heart your mind is begging to be loved by you if that makes any sense to you like your soul is begging to reconnect with you does that i don't know if that resonates or makes any sense it's like i just see you like missing yourself it's like this your higher self or your soul like misses you misses that like it wants your energy back. It wants, it's almost like you need to do some soul retrieval. Like you need to call your energy back to you and, and be more careful with your energy and not just give it to everybody. Um, so yeah, for this group that I'm channeling, it's kind of like, like your masculine is sweet. I'm not saying he was a bad person, but he's just, he's, I feel like he always blames how he always makes excuses and he always blames shit on other people. He's always saying, Oh, well, it's always the karmic's fault or it's always, you know, work was stressful and, oh, he couldn't, this is why he couldn't message you for a week straight. You know, it's that kind of energy, which is a very flaky energy. And I feel like it's going to be different for all of you. And like I said, your guides want you to really do some soul searching and really find yourself and reconnect with yourself and figure out what's best for you. Figure out what you will and will not tolerate. Figure out what you want in life. You know, ask yourself the serious, deep questions like... Is this true love or is this familiar and comfortable to me? Um, is this really what I still want or am I just continuing to fight for it because I've been fighting for it for so long and I'm scared that, you know, if I let it go, I'm going to end up alone or I'm not going to have anybody or, you know, I'm just, it's just like a scary, unfamiliar energy. Like you got to ask yourself those questions and, and really listen to your heart and your intuition and decide if it's worth it to stay in that energy because, again, this person is just so... They're just so flaky. I think for a lot of you, it's probably not worth it to stay in that situation. But I think that you've got to come to that conclusion on your own. And you'll know. For some of you, it is worth it. You know, for, for a few of you, it is it is still worth it. Um, but I just see it. I just see it back and forth, you know what I mean? Like, he misses you and he's making improvements and you're feeling his energy telepathically. And then the karmic gets in the way or work gets in the way or this or this and this gets in the way. And then, you know, you don't hear from him. And then it's like back to square one. And it's just like this merry-go-round that you're on and you got to get off of that. You know what I mean? Like, whether you got to get off of that and he can come off the merry-go-round with you or you can get off by yourself. But you got to get off it and stop going in circles with this person. You feel me? Um, cause it's just, it's like stagnant. It's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's, it's just, you don't want that in your life. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, I think a, just such a huge issue with this group is like, they're not bad men, but it's just their unwillingness to take responsibility for themselves. That's going to keep you in this, this merry-go-round energy, because it's like, it's always somebody else's fault. And it's like, uh, it's just too many excuses, but all right, let's see. But again, the choice is yours. It's up to you. Do you it's up to you. But you need to do some soul searching and, and figure that out for yourself now. It really is important that you go inward and and, and find those answers. Um, so what does your life look like if you let this person go? What's going to happen in your 
life if you decide to let this person go. What's gonna happen in your life if you decide to, if you decide to let this person go? How does that look? How does that look for you? Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups. God, did I, ugh, I did not need to put all these upside down. Okay, we're not doing that. I almost feel to say though, like with this one, it's almost like you're letting go of a burden, you know? Like she had this burden on her shoulders and she's like, fuck this. She's letting it go. See, I kind of feel like these ones actually did want to be upside down, but I don't want to read all of them upside down. I just, I feel drawn to like put those ones upside down. I don't know why I keep putting my cards in the wrong freaking way. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Savory. Hmm. New love is what I feel. And focusing on yourself. And I feel like getting back into your, like, just loving yourself and, like, getting back into your hobbies and your passions. And then I think you have new, new love coming in after that. See, so yeah, with this, I just, I was just, I was, like, drawn to turn them over, because I'm like, you know what, I think I know what that's trying to tell me right there. It's like, you were in the Ten of Wands energy, where, you know, look at her, she's, like, she's stressed, she's stagnant, she's weighed down by this connection, and she's tired of it, she doesn't, she's tired of this energy. Um, and, like, with the Eight of Cups, like, upright, that would be, like, you know, starting a new life with this person, um... And, like, kind of calling them and trying to be seductive and, like, get them to start a new life with you. But it's, like, upside down. It's almost like you're, you're giving up on this heavy energy. You're giving up on trying to be seductive and getting them to notice you and getting them to start a new life with you. You're, like, saying screw it and you're focusing on you. And, hmm. I'm trying to look at this energy. See... This is like, I mean, this is you. Look at the book. Look at the book she's on. It's like this fairy, fairy goddess that's like on this book. And she's studying and she's, you know, she's doing the things that she loves, her hobbies, her passions. And she has this like new enthusiasm and this new passion and this new like zest for life and just this like this new fresh energy um, because she's gotten rid of, of this dead weight right here. She's, she's let the dead weight go. Um, and it's like, you know, still hard work and, and long-term concentration, but with the Knight of Pentacles here, you, you have success and you have abundance when it comes to your career and your hobbies and all the things that you love. I actually, I actually kind of feel like this means a couple different things for, for some, for, I mean, I think it's, I think it's both for most of you or, or one or the other or both for most of you. Um, and the Knight of Pentacles, it's kind of like, oh, it, it's, 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 how do I explain that? It's like this new energy with career and hobbies, but I also kind of feel like this could be somebody coming in, like a Knight of Pentacles coming in, which is kind of the opposite of what you have now with what you're dealing with. This would be somebody who's more financially stable and more mentally stable and more secure in themselves, and somebody who's more grounded and somebody who's more honest and responsible and determined. Um, like responsibility really comes out that they take responsibility for themselves and their actions and their feelings and they don't just blame everybody around them. This person isn't really flaky. I almost feel like, like your person is so flaky that it almost rubs off on you sometimes. Like, no, that doesn't make sense. Does that make sense? I don't know why I'm hearing that. That doesn't even make sense to me. Maybe that resonates with you guys. I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, Knight of Pentacles, it's like, it's just truth and responsibility. And it's, it's like a more stable, loyal, grounded knight that would be coming in for you if you let go of this other person, I feel. And on top of it, um, it's also just you and being in this energy and, um, you know, having success and abundance in the material world 
And with the Knight of Cups, it's like you find somebody else that you can open your heart to and you get back into this romantic, vulnerable, loving energy, but with somebody who's much better than the other person is. So, yeah, so there's that. Because I do sense the energy of somebody else around you. I do sense that energy. Let me see if I can, see if I can get anything else. Can you tell me about the personality traits of this other, this kind of pentacles? So like loyal, stable, grounded, responsible, just much more of a man than this other person is. Tell me about him. Just really quick, just what can we get on him? Chaos, okay, that's confusing. Actually, hmm. Because those didn't want to come up backwards, and I almost feel like it's like, like it's worth the risk. Like it's not, it's chaos is in the past. You see that? Like this is like the past is chaotic. But this person could be a, a fire sign, actually. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but they're passionate, and they're loyal, and they're grounded, and they're... Like, it's exciting. Even though they're stable and they're grounded and they're, like, different than what you're used to, they still, they're still fun and they're still exciting for you. Like, they still have that, that fire, that romance, that passion is there, that spark is there, that chemistry is there with this person. Um, and you feel fulfilled. And it's like that risk is finally worth it. This person is actually worth it. Where before, it's like they catch you when, they, when you fall. Whereas before, that other person didn't really catch you. So there's that energy. Um... And yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see what I get um, when I do my next Zodiac reading for you. Please like, share, and um, subscribe if this resonates. Thank you.